concerned. Do not say give me that area. You message my daughter. For what reason? You message my daughter after fucking the mother. You did not say it's one here. Hi everyone, thank you very much for tuning on to my channel today. This is your favorite babe, this is your favorite tea time spinner, Kirsty Valentine. Don't forget to hit that red button to subscribe on the right of your screen the best button for notifications in that way you know when a new video have been uploaded or when i go live streaming the like button uh for thumbs uh, thumbs up for like button and also always remember to leave a comment in that way we keep the conversation striving and rolling in our communities always always remember remember to leave a comment and share this video with your family your friends your neighbors your colleagues you know subscribe to this channel share the video i'm grateful today we're talking about um a um a nigerian man based in america an american based nigerian man who went berserk um, and if you ask me why he went bizarre, yes, he is absolutely right. He is a man, a hus he is a husband, he is a, a father, and a ch church goer, a man of God with integrity. Yes, who fought for his family and for his daughter. Every parent wants to protect their sons and their daughter. Yes, he is a good man. And who knows, if any one of us were to be in the same situation, what we would do? Because I would skin that pastor alive. Well, he went to the church and disgraced and embarrassed uh, the um, confronted. I would not say, let me retract my words, rephrase my word. He confronted the pastor of his church who slept with his wife and and then tried to sleep with his daughter so basically the pastor of his church where his family and himself went to uh worship already slept with his wife he's a church he's, he's a member of the church slept with his wife and tried to sleep with his daughter as well so he was trying to sleep with mother and daughter i want you to listen to um um the the screaming match it is horrible i cannot believe it <laughs> of it is that i would love to give two of my back hands to some of those church members out there because they were restraining him they were screaming on him they were calling him alagba so when if they call him alagba which means he's a white guy a church so they were restraining him and they were protecting the pastor where is the integrity? You see why I don't attend these white garment churches, whether they are Serubin and Seraphim or Celestia. I will tell you um, my experience with them years ago when I first came to the United Kingdom. I was young. I came in here. I went with a, um, a very close relative of mine to attend this church. This church was one of the, uh, it was a white garment church, and it was one of the major and big white garment churches here in London, and it was based in the northern part of London. And I remember that um, my relative at that time used to point out a lady, and this lady was carrying two twin boys, very pretty lady, very beautiful ladies. And um, when we came from 
the church when we finished from the church and we went home and my relative and her very close friend were always talking about this lady so i asked the question i said what's going on and my relative said to me he said you see that lady with the two um bo uh, twin boys i said yes he said do you know that she got pregnant for the alagba one of the alagbas in the church while she was married to her husband i said what because I was young, I said, what? I said in the church, because I grew up in the Catholic faith. And when I came to London, because I was staying with this relative, I had no choice than to follow her to a white garment church. I never grew up in the white garment church. I don't know their doctrines. I never, it wasn't a church that I, I really admired. But because when you just come to a Western world and you're living with a relative of yours, you have no choice than to do the things they do or follow, follow, follow what they do until you move on and you settle on your own and then you are on your own bus. So I had no choice and I went with my relative. I went to this church and, uh, and she said, I said, what? I was, I screamed. She said, yes. She said, um, this lady is from the data part of Nigeria and her husband, um, she already has three children for her husband. Her husband was very, very, very ill at the point of death. And she was going around seeking spiritual help because the husband was in the hospital at the point of death. It was an admission. So she was also going and while he was getting medication as um, medical treatment as well. And um, she was also going around looking for the spiritual side, spiritual healing. So out of desperation, she was referred to this celestial church. And when she, uh, when they referred her to this celestial church, she told them the problem, and this Alagba took it on. What he did was to, uh, I don't know, that he did something for her and asked her to use it so the husband would never die, the husband would not die. Yeah? So she, took, she used it, and that uh, before you know it, she started sleeping with this man, and she got pregnant. So at the time her husband was sick in the hospital, she was already pregnant for this Alagba in the White Garment Church. And she was pregnant with twin boys. Then, these boys now must be about 30, in their 30s now. They must be. So, um, so when he died, they were going to, because he was a chief in the Delta region, they were going to take his body home to his kingdom to bury him. Yeah? And she didn't go. She didn't follow the body home. Because in their land, in their kingdom, <laughs> you know, you cannot be pregnant while your husband has been sick in the hospital for over one year. Which means you were already pregnant. You're already cheating on your husband. So they will, she, they said that so, what would have happened to her would have been so terrible. And she knew it, so she did not go. And so she had, she stayed here in London and they went to do the burial in Delta Park. In Robo side, that's in Robo side. You know, Robo, they have so many kingdoms, all those kingdoms. So he now went there and they went to bury him, but she never went. So she never mourned her husband in the traditional way at all. Because uh, it, it, by the time they take it home, there are so many things that they do, traditional things that they do. She wouldn't have survived it without pregnancy. So she didn't go and she knew it. So she stayed here. In fact, this woman went on to have another set of twins for this Alagba. You, you know, went on. What the Alagba, his end was never well anyway. He didn't end well in that church. He died so suddenly and very, very young. So we wouldn't want to go there. So there are so many stories about why garment churches. So when I, when I hear of this and I see this, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. This is why I always tell people that you should be mindful of the, the, the church. You put your feet in. The church is not the garment. The church is not the building. The church is not the pastor. The, the, the church is in your heart. It's a personal relationship with God. I know sometimes that we pray that we don't we do we do not find ourselves in such a situation that you are so desperate you are prepared to do anything to get what you want to solve your problem. Yes, I pray that we do not find ourselves in that situation where we will now fall into the hands of the bad person out of desperation 
This woman's life was at risk. The man ended up dying. What she went there for in this white garment church, celestial church, she did not get it. They ended, the man must have put some charm in her. He started sleeping with her and got her pregnant. And at the end of the day, her husband died. And the so-called Alagba, she had, had a baby for, given 10 years after that, he suddenly died mysteriously. No, but he just died. He didn't, he didn't live long. And now, what really hurts me and what really, what is so fascinating about this thing is that how can you stand at the corporate in the church and hold the Holy Bible and preach and you know the Ten Commandments, yet you are still fornicating with other people's wives in that church. And you say that you are a man of God. Why procrastinate? This is absolute blasphemy. God is good. God is really, really, really good. Because when you look, I'm not judging. I'm not here to judge anybody. I don't have any right to judge. But based on what I have seen, based on my experiences, if there are 100 pastors today, I don't think one will make it. I'm not trying to disrespect them. I'm not saying uh, 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 tarnish them or uh, run them down. I'm not saying all of them are bad because there are some very good pastors, you know. But pastoring and doing the work of God today is all about the money and fame and cars. The things that they do to get people into their church. The things that they do that as soon as they enter the church, everybody is worshipping the pastor more than the Bible or God. It's in the Bible, worship no man. Everybody is claiming to be man of God. Everybody is claiming to be a, a woman of God. Please, who is the man? Who is a man of Satan and who is a woman of Satan? Who is a child of Satan? Are we not all children, men and women of God? Is it not God who created us? So, uh, Christians, you should think. You should. You, you should, every one of you should use your brain and don't be deceived. The other day, I was reading it somewhere. How? Uh, the head of a uh, uh, redeemed church, Adegbayo's uh, first son, got a lady in his office that was in his office fired because he said he's so attracted to this woman. He can't, he can't, he can't stop thinking about this woman. So he had the lady fired. And you say that you are a, a man of God. You grew up in that church. You know the Ten Commandments. You preach against lust, which is one of the Ten Commandments. And you are married. So tell me what if they what they did it was right. So you see the deceit. You know, for him to have even come out to say that, at least he was even you know he was even honest. What about the ones that will not say it? That will just be bay, 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 all of them in the church there, and they will hide it up. You I have seen I have seen pastors who get married women pregnant in their church the same white garment church a married woman will be pregnant in that same in that same church and the husband of the woman that is having married woman that is having an affair with is wearing the same white garment with them is still going to that same church and they are all fornicating and they will use that dirty hands to hold the bible and read and start doing water Doing water like this uh, 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 and doing thanksgiving. The, uh, only God knows those who worship him. It is so sad. It is so sad. The pastor of that same church that I, I, I spoke about that I gave an example to fathered so many children in that church with a lot of female church garment members in his in his parish it's in it's in, it's in london here he fathered a lot of children he slept and fucked a lot of women both young and matured women in his church i know that he even he he even tried it on me he he was even dating this relative of mine 
using this relative of mine. And on that, my relative's birthday, he was supposed to come and give her a present and a card. He was not giving me present and a card. I didn't take it. I didn't use it. I didn't wear it. Because you don't know what he has put in that, in that garment. You don't know what he has put in that card. So I sent it to somebody back, back home in Nigeria. I didn't touch it. So my relative was not surprised. He said, I, I, I can't understand. I said, yeah, because he, he's been intimate with you. He wants, to, he wants to go with another person. Even at that time, I was living somewhere in North London, towards the suburban side in North London. And he had another young girl that he was going to see there. And this uh, 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 head of uh, uh, this white garment church had a wife at home and his children were all there. In the church, he was sleeping with all these women, sleeping with them. And when he slept with them, he would use them, and their life was never the same. So I don't know what he was taking away from them. You understand? So that is why I, I question some Christians who go to church. I question their integrity. What is in your brain? What are you thinking about? And if you, I, I'm going to put this video on and you are going to watch it. And if this man was even being restrained by some of the members of the church. And what is, what annoyed, annoyed this man so much that really pissed him off, that really made him to talk, was because he went to that church on that Sunday and the pastor of the church was preaching. He was referring to him and then pointing to him in the church. And you are fucking his wife. And you want to fuck his daughter. And you are standing in the, in the corporate at the altar, which is supposed to be the holiest place. And you say you are preaching the word of God, holding the Bible with the Ten Commandments, calling yourself man of God. So is the victim now a man of devil? Please, people tell me. Is it the, 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 uh, the, the, the member of the church? That is a child of God or, or a man of devil, a, a man of God or a man of devil, or is the, is it the, the pastor, the fornicator, the sinner, who is the man, a, a child, a man of devil or man of God? Please tell me. Do you know? Wait, please tell me. There are so many instances where some of these pastors go to patronize sex workers. So many. Look at uh, another pastor the other day, Gila, that had to come to the church and started running down his wife. No matter what, if you stand in front of people and preach the word of God, which includes the Ten Commandments, you should never condemn your wife until the secret now came out and people now knew that he had a second wife in South Africa and he started having children. This is a man that was preaching to his members of the church against it. So this is why I say that worshipping God and knowing God is in your heart. Your heart is your church, not the garment. I want you to watch this video and we'll be right back. This is crazy. Don't care, it's not my children anymore. Nobody. I don't video I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what did you hear? Did you see that? You, I, I bet you watch the video. So, what do you think, my people? It is ridiculous. It's utterly ridiculous. It is like, oh, what is so annoying about it is that the sinner, the, 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 the crime doer, the woe unto that sinner of a pastor is being protected. And why the person who is in pain, whose family or whose wife have been violated, is restrained? That brings me to questioning, what sort of a woman, what sort of a wife is that? 
Omarata. Omonoria, monosaka. Omonole, useless woman. Because if the pastor is sleeping with her and she knows she's married, which means she has been doing it before, it won't be the first time. Because something you have not done before, you will not suddenly start it. Start, start it. A useless woman. Useless woman, useless wife. I don't know what that man would do. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what he would do with that one if he can still continue to live with her. I'm not insinuating they should separate, uh, because it's their marriage. It's nobody's business. But <laughs> for a woman who is married to you, who knows she's married and she has children, for her to go and sleep with the pastor of the same church that herself and her husband and her whole family is attending, I don't have any words to best describe. So my people, please leave a comment. It's so sad. It's so sad what um, thumbs up. I want thumbs up. Please continue to put your thumbs up. Thumbs up. Like this video. Share this video. Please, please support this channel. Help it to grow. A year of completion and abundance in your life. Please, my fans and my viewers, share this video. Share this video. Recommend this video. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Leave a comment. Da, 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 da. Leave a comment. Please press that notifications for bells button for notifications. That brings me into questioning. This is why I say that people should be careful. A lot of people should be careful. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you hear people say, oh, pastor, pray for me. Oh, uh, sister, pray for me. No. It's in the Bible. If you go to set, uh, certain verses, a lot of verses in the Bible states, especially in some states, out of your mouth, comment your blessing. If you use your mouth to pray on, on yourself, if you use your mouth to bless yourself, if you use your mouth to prophesy yourself, if you use your mouth, you pray on your hands, you put it on your head, you bless yourself, it will come to pass. God is not fake. God is real. The problem with some of us, especially we Africans, we are so used to this spiritual way of doing things that even if they go to Catholic church, or go to Pentecostal churches. In the evening, they will go and look for a, a soothsayer. How can somebody who is a soothsayer, who look like a peasant, prophesy and see into your future and tell you what you are going to be? Have they, have they prophesied for themselves? Have they seen into their own future? Are they God? You know, so this is the problem. This is why a lot of our Christians, young men and young women, especially ladies, fall into this trap and there are some pastors people who say they are pastors who proclaim they are men of god who proclaim that god has called them to come and do do do, do this job who claim that that they will sleep with them their life will never be the same it will never be the same it will turn upside down if they have a job they will be pursuing them in that job they will lose their job or sometimes they will just wake up and say they are not going to that job if they sleep with some of these pastors, their body is never the same. There's something inside their body. If they sleep with these pastors, they'll be dreaming that certain people are pursuing them at night. Their life is never the same. And some of these women, when they sleep with these pastors, if they, if they were women who were into business, business and very, very successful in their chosen business or line of business, it would just turn outside and it would just fall. And then you start going from one place to the other, looking for spiritual healing. Please, my people, especially Christians, be careful. Be careful, especially Africans. We are so used to this spiritual something. It, uh, and when they have a problem, they want the problem to solve within 24 hours. A problem does not solve within 24 hours. And they will go and buy t-shirt. They will go and buy book. They will buy a lot of oil. They buy special water. Where in the Bible did you see Jesus Christ selling t-shirts and olive, uh, this uh, Goya? Do, you know, uh, there's one uh, olive oil that is so popular. It's called it's Goya. Let me spell it for you. It's G-O-Y-A. Where did you see Jesus in the Bible selling that olive oil? Where? Please show me. Where did he sell it? Jesus changed water into wine for free. He didn't charge anything. There is no miracle in the Bible that Jesus performed that he charged people for. Can't I, 
What is wrong with Christians? Can't you people think? You had you say you know the Bible, you quote verse to verse. Uh, you can read something and you don't understand it. Compare what you are reading in the Bible to what the pastors are doing, doing today. Is it the same? Pastors in Nigeria are openly dating actresses. And they are not even actually, and they are, the, 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 the so-called pastor's wife is suffering in silence. Look at the case of another pastor that raped, allegedly raped, that's what they said, raped uh, one of uh, these uh, top gospel singers, uh, his wife. And the case was dismissed and they found him not guilty in church, in, uh, in the court, not church. So they found him not guilty in the court. So many things go on with, with these pastors and their church members that is hidden secretly. Look at the other pastor whose church was burned down in one of these western, uh, 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 southwestern states in the western part of Nigeria, whose, whose church was burned down because they said a two-year-old got missing and they buried him in the altar, it, it, uh, things like that. And you will still see some stupid people who will still be going to that church. You will still see some stupid people. They will, they will still be going to that church. Do you understand? Eh? It, it, it's in the Bible. Not everybody who calls my name will enter, enter the kingdom of God. Why can't people... This is why I say uh, most Christians are reading the Bible upside down. This is the Bible. Wait, let me go and get my Bible. Let me go and get my Bible. Wait. This is my Bible. Eh? This is the Holy Bible. Eh? This is the Holy Bible. This is the way you read the Holy Bible. Yeah? But some Christians are reading it like this. They are reading it. They turn it upside down. They are reading it from the bottom to the top. Even when it's upside down. like this yeah but they are reading the bible this is how you read the bible from the top to the bottom from verse to verse from top here but they are reading the bible upside down and when they even turn it upside down they are reading it from the from the bottom to the top for from 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 the bottom which it becomes the top they're reading it upside down because if 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 truly they are reading the Bible and they understand the Bible and they are going for that Bible study and that Bible study that they go to, they really understand what the Bible says. The things that are going on in churches, it will not go on in churches. When The other day we saw a pastor from America who was giving, um, I think he was giving a, a, the, the daughter of a church member a blow job and he came out on social media and defended it. And this is a man that stands at the pulpit to, to, to preach to people. And he was married. And people were hailing him. What has the world come into? You people have turned Christianity into something else. And you say, man of God. Please do not call the name of God, the holy name of God, in vain. Don't use the holy name of God to justify your wrongdoings. Some people will say, oh, look at all the great men in the Bible. They had two wives. Look at all the atrocities that David did. Look at what Solomon did. Are you in his time? Were you in his time? This was the beginning of the world when God was manifesting himself to the people. We are, are you there? Are we in that time now? without the bible there are certain things that you should know that are morally right and morally wrong especially when you stand at the pulpit and you are preaching the word of god today's pastor is do what i preach don't see and do what i do eh? and a lot of uh, christians will go to church and they will tell the pastor everything 
And you don't know what the pastor has stuck his hand into. That his tongue that is using to pray for you, you don't know what he has used it to go and lick. And then you will come and put the hand on top of you. And he say he's praying for you. Don't let anybody lay their hand on your head. Because you don't know what they have used their mouth or their tongue to lick or eat at night. And use their hand to rub. Before coming to that church to put their hand on top of you. Have you seen cases where people go to church and the pastor will lay their hands on them, their head and their memory and their destiny will, 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 will intercept and change? Yeah? So, please, let us be aware. Your heart is your church. I'm not saying don't go to any church, but be vigilant. Read your Bible very, very, very well. Yeah, if you can afford a, a book like this, it's all on the internet. It's on the phone. You can down, uh, you can, you can upload the Bible app on your phone or your mobile phone. You can go to the internet cafeteria and put Bible.com and check for anything. If if there is anything that is uh, uh, troubling you in your heart and you need you you need answers, you don't necessarily have to see the pastor with the way things are going. Go to YouTube and go to Bible.com. If you have a laptop or a desktop or if you are in uh, the internet cafeteria, go there and type your question in. It will bring you so many verses and so many places you can read the Bible. There is, there we, there is a, a strong power in the words that you speak unto yourself. Say positive words unto yourself. No matter what you are going through. You know, when I'm going through a lot of hard time, that is when I need them to pray more. If you believe in yourself, if you believe in your faith, if you believe in God, your faith is believing in God. If you believe in God, if you believe he will do everything for you, open your mouth and pray. Don't be scared. Before you even ask, God knows. It's just for you to open your mouth and ask. God said, knock, you shall be. He said, seek, you shall find. Knock, the door shall be opened. Ask, you shall be given. It's there in the Bible. He didn't say to you that he, he, uh, 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 knock, go and knock the pastor's door or his office inside the church. He didn't say go and seek for the pastor. He didn't say go and ask the pastor. Ask him with your own mouth and faith. That's all you need to do. And stop making yourself... Look at a, 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 a married woman with a grown-up kid. A pastor. He has, has had intercourse with you while you are married. And you will stand up in that church and dress up and hold the Bible. Is that not a cost for yourself already? I feel sorry for that man. Because things like this affect some men. Some men will start getting sick. Some, some of them, their body will start swelling up. They will go to the hospital. They can't find out what is going on because they forbid it. Some men, their business will overturn. Some men, they will start losing a lot. A lot of good things will just be going, going away from them. Negative things will be coming towards them because there is something forbidden that is not good with his destiny. It doesn't have to be traditional way. There are certain things that common sense will tell you. It's wrong. So, my people, share this video with a lot of people. Your friends, your neighbor, your family, your friend, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your colleagues, and your church members as well. And always remember to leave a comment. In that way, we keep our conversation rolling and buzzing. It's your favorite TT, your favorite babe, Kirsty Valentine. Until our next video, I say love and peace.